right let's look at question number 14 part b so this is the coplane forces question so we are given this diagram we have bad bdc are 90 degrees ab ad are 2 root 2a cd is 3a then these forces acts along these lines in the directions indicated by the order of the letters right let me draw the diagram so draw a big diagram so all the angles and the lengths are clear right a b c d This is the label, the lens with a different color. Right. So then, A B D is isosceles triangle. Because these two lenses are two root two a. So then, this angle is forty five. So this angle is also forty five. we might need to find this angle also theta is there are four along bc yes so most likely we need to find theta also right so let me mark the forces next so 3p along ab then 3p along ad Now, uh, two root two p along BD. Two root two p. Then five root two p along BC. Then lastly, three root two p along DC. Right. So forces are all marked. Now let's see. This this system of forces is equal to two forces of magnitude alpha p, beta p acting along A B and A D. So A B is x axis, A D is y axis, and we'll take A as the origin. So treat A as the origin, A B as x axis, and A D as y axis. In the direction indicated by the letter. and together with a couple whose moment is m acting in counter clockwise sense find the values of alpha beta and m right so alpha is the sum of the horizontal components beta is the sum of the vertical components m is the moment about a so we have to find those three so then we have to find this theta angle because without that we can't do this vertical components and horizontal components of phi root 2p we can't do without theta so then first we'll find bd bd squared is what 2 root 2a squared plus 2 root 2a squared so bd squared is 8a squared 16a squared bd is 4a So this length is four a. This is three a. Then by Pythagoras theorem, B C is five a. So now we can find all the angles required from a B D C triangle. Sine theta is three over five. Cos theta is four over five. Right. And tan theta is three over four. Right. So we have all the angles required. Okay, now for, let's first find alpha, which is along AB. So the sum of the x components, sum of the x components, let me label it as R x in this direction, AB direction. So you get three P here, no component from here. 
so 3p and this angle is also what 45 so let's table that so 3 root 2p cos 45 in positive direction then this angle is 45 and this power is 2 root 2p that is going to be in negative direction minus 2 root 2p cos 45 then the next one the final one 5 root 2p is also the component is in negative direction with angle theta plus 45 so this is going to be 5 root 2p cos theta plus 45 right cos 45 is 1 over root 2 no? so these root 2s will cancel out minus 5 root 2p cos theta plus 45 so i get 3p plus 3p minus 2p minus 5 root 2p this one use cos a plus b formula cos theta cos 45 minus sin theta sin 45 so we have 4p minus 5 root 2p cos 45 and sin 45 is the same thing 1 over root 2 so you can take a 1 over root 2 out and you are left with cos theta minus sin theta inside so again root 2 root 2 cancel so 4p minus 5p now substitute cos theta and sin theta 4 over 5 and 3 over 5 so 4p minus 5p times 1 over 5 5 is cancel so 3p so then alpha is what alpha is 3 right so to find the beta that is along ad you know so you have to do vertical components sum of the vertical components of the result right so then there's this 3p nothing from this 3p 3p then from this one uh, all of them are positive all of them are positive so we don't need to worry about negatives all of them are going in up direction so the components so 3 root 2 p sine 45 and this one 2 root 2 p sine 45 plus 5 root 2 p sine for a theta plus 45 that big angle this one this big angle that component the vertical component so again sine 45 and root 2 cancel root 2 and sine 45 cancel because sine 45 is 1 over root 2 so we have 3p plus 3p plus 2p plus 5 root 2p use the sine a plus b formula so sine theta sine 40 sorry cos 45 plus cos theta sine 45 so you have 8p plus 5 root 2p and again take 1 over root 2 out which is cos 45 and sin 45 are both 1 over root 2 so take 1 over root 2 out you have sin theta plus cos theta inside root 2 root 2 cancel 8p plus 5p sin theta is what 3 over 5 cos theta is 4 over 5 so this inside becomes 7 over 5 so 8p plus 5p times 7 over 5 so the vertical component of that power is that force is 7p so then the total is 15p so then beta value is what 15 right then we have to get the moments you have to take the moments about the origin a 
so take moments about a in counterclockwise direction that will give you m so let's see uh, we have to take moments about a so 3p and 3p we don't need to worry about then this one 3 root 2p only the horizontal component has a uh, moment the vertical component goes through in so we don't need to worry about that so this is going to be 3 root 2p cos 45 into 2 root 2a and it is going uh, clockwise so it's going to be negative negative 3 root 2 p cos 45 times 2 root 2 a and remember this this is going to be what 2 root 2 p uh, sine 45 times 2 root 2 a that is going anti clockwise or counter clockwise. 2 root 2 p sine 45 into 2 root 2 a, and the final one is 5 root 2 p sine 45 plus theta. That is also 2 root 2 a, that is also positive because we are taking counter clockwise this direction up so this and this one we already found so this this one phi root 2 p sine theta 45 is what sine theta plus 45 7 p so i don't want to do it again so this is the vertical component of the phi root 2 p which is 7 p so This is going to be 7p. Okay, we have already found this, so I'm going to use that. So let's see what we get. Root 2 cos 45 cancel, root 2 sin 45 cancel. Right. Then we have minus 6 root 2a plus 4 root 2a, 7p into 2 root 2a, 14 root 2a. So then final answer is 12 root 2a and oh no, pa. I forgot to write the p. So this is the moment m that is counter clockwise, right? Okay. So alpha b time is found. Now what happens? Now a couple of couple acting in the plane. Of the coordinator is added to the above system of forces such that the resultant of the new system of forces go through D. Find the moment of the couple added. So now this system we know is what the system we already had A B. C D. This system is like this no it is equivalent to 15p in this direction 3p in this direction 2 root 2 a distance 2 root 2 a distance and a moment counterclockwise moment which is uh, what is the counterclockwise moment 12 root 2 pa right so now they are saying the new resultant goes through d so the new resultant goes through D. Then how much of a moment have we added? That is what we want to find. Right. So let's take moments about D. So the moments about D, the resultant goes through D. No? So then sum of the moments about D should be equal to the moments about the resultant. So we are taking moments about D. Let's take anti clockwise. 
so then remember sum of the moments about d should be equal to the resultant moment about that so the resultant moment is zero no? because resultant goes through d and we are taking moments about d so this one is zero and we have this one 12 root 2 p a that is going uh, which direction that is going uh, anti-clockwise right and then we have what 15 p we don't need to consider then you have 3 p Three p times uh, what? Three p times three uh, p times uh, two root two a. That is also going anti-clockwise. And to balance this out, we have to have a clockwise moment. That is what we want to find the new moment. Let me write as m new. Or the m added moment so the m added moment is going to be what that is going to be 18 root 2 pa to make this zero it has to be what clockwise so the added moment is 18 root 2 pa in the clockwise direction so that's the moment you need to add. Okay, so that is the coplanar forces question.